Hello and welcome to the 68th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the Atlas label. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides three different ways for creating labels to display text. There is label TTF, there's label BM font, label Atlas font. In this series we're going to be covering label Atlas font. A label atlas for font is used when you want to create text using characters from an image. You can use a tool such as Glyph Designer. Uh, it's paid but it is a really cool tool. It's not too expensive. So what we're going to do is add the atlas image which I've got from the Cocos 2 djs resources. And atlas, there we go. It's just a PNG and if we open it up. Here we have to see it's got all the different characters. It doesn't have to have all the characters. Obviously, if it doesn't have all the characters, then you can't use them all. <laughs> so if we just copy and paste that into our project, and what I'm going to do is go to res, medium res, as that's where as that is where our browser is, paste that into there. I've just added the asset for medium red. As like I mentioned, that's what the browser is using, but you will need them for all three resolution folders if you plan on publishing on other platforms apart from the web. Just for ease of use, I've just got it for this one here. So obviously it's probably best if you design it for large res, then just scale it down. So let's go ahead and open up our resource.js because we're gonna add in our file, let's put a comma here, and we're gonna do atlas font underscore png colon folder plus and in here we're going to do atlas.png or whatever the image was called in this case it was atlas.png and now the next thing that we're going to do is just open up our app.js and in here we can find it yep it's right here then we're going to do var atlas label you can call it whatever you want this equals to new cc dot label atlas and there's a few parameters you can, you can specify the ones we're going to specify is what we want to say so we put one two three four five exclamation mark and then we're going to specify the image for the font so res dot atlas font underscore png and now we specify the width and the height of each character. That is one of the main issues with Neighbor Atlas. You have to specify the width and the height of each character. You've got to make sure the position correctly in each file, otherwise you'll get overlapping or you'll get certain characters that are cropped. So let's just position this. Atlas label.x equals size dot width divided by two atlas label dot y equals size the height divided by two and now what we're going to do is just open up terminal cd to our project directory run the cocos command not cocos fun <laughs> this will be a cocos fun command i don't know what it would do okay here we go good i'm assuming it's just loading up the resources into our project. Okay, didn't quite work. Let's just make sure there's no errors in the console. There isn't. So I'm assuming if we just simply remove the history, we should be all good. So if I just clear browsing data. Okay, that's weird. Uh, it still isn't showing up. So if you just go back to app.j, well there, I'm going to add the other child, so this dot add child, I'm going to put label, oh it's at this label, and I'm just going to comment out the sprite so it doesn't get in the way, refresh our web browser, there we go, one, two, three, four, five, that is it, that's how you use label atlas. There are more functions to change the properties of our Atlas label. Uh, as an extra test, take a look at the Cocos 2 djs API guide for more information or look at the samples and the tests provided by Cocos 2 djs I think the samples and the tests are the best, but in general you can choose whatever you want. The next tutorial will cover the bitmap label. That's very similar to the Atlas label, but it is 
better we would recommend that you use the bitmap one unless you need to use the atlas one that is it if you have any questions feel free to message us at support systemcouk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via youtube or the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day